Allah says in the Quran, and he found you lost and guided you. And that's what happened to me. When I found Islam in Turkey, I had no intention to become Muslim. In fact, I was the last person you would expect to follow Islam. I was drowning in sin. Even the reason I was in Istanbul was sinful. I was one step away from really losing myself. But being alone in Istanbul gave me time to think. Most importantly, time to explore. One bored day in my hostel led me to visit Blue Mosque. With no desire to become religious, I started my journey. Whilst on my walk, I found a shop with prayer beads and brought some. As I kept seeing people using them in Istanbul and I couldn't figure out what they were, I thought they were just used for stress. I didn't know it was a religious thing. When I reached the mosque in my hijab, I was very nervous to go in. I was scared what I might see because of the view I had of Islam in my head from the media. I eventually went in and I was very, very scared, but it was so beautiful and peaceful. I found a spot to sit and just watch people for ages. I felt all my anxiety leave and I just sat there. After a while, I googled what to do with prayer beads and I started to use them in the mosque. I did tasbih for around an hour. Before I left, I looked at some of the resources they had for non-Muslims, but decided not to take any because I thought to myself, no way someone like me would read a religious book. I was drowning in sin and I thought religions were medieval, so I didn't take anything and I just left. But as I was leaving the mosque, I heard the azan for the first time. It was so loud and powerful that it just made me stop in the street. I couldn't move. It was like Allah was calling me. Suddenly I looked down and realized my phone that was on 50% battery had died and I started to panic and I felt a sudden ease. My hostel was really far from the mosque and I had no way to get back but I said to Allah, if you're real, help me get back. I pulled the prayer beads from my pocket and I started to do tasbih. I eventually arrived back at the hostel and I wasn't even feeling stressed. I found an English copy of the Quran there and I started to read. Read. I read the whole Quran and declared my shahada a couple of months after when I was back in London. I'm so happy that Allah found me. Allah made me Muslim. He brought me from the darkness to the light and my life has never been the same since.